In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about Cisco's VTP VLAN trunking, trunking protocol. It's an administrative help to configure VLANs on one switch and advertise to other switches over trunking, trunk links. This way you don't have to go to all the switches in your network manually to create the VLANs because that's a management nightmare if you have a whole bunch of switches. But in VTP only servers are allowed to create VLANs. Clients just advertise them. A transparent mode has a locally significant data bus only. So in this example, we're going to call switch 1 and switch 2 our production network. We're using VLANs 100 through 109 as production VLANs. So here on switch 1, we can see we got 100 through 109 created, created and active in the topology. Switch 2, which is the client also shows the same 100 through 109 active. But the VTP status shows we're running version 1 and the revision is 10. Now we're going to go off our switch 3 is our test VLAN that we're going to connect to the network. But on switch 3 we're also running VTP 1. see what VLANs he has active. I think it should be just 200. Yeah, we have, well, 1 and 200. Well, 1 is active by default, because that's the default VLAN. But his configure vision is a lot higher than the other two switches. And this is what's going to cause the problem, because in V2P, they think whoever has the highest revision has the most up-to-date copy of the database. This is going to end up causing us problems. So what we're going to we're going to make a connection on switch three to switch one on Ethernet two two zero on each one two zero to two zero. And then I'm going to paste in the commands to uh, make it a, come up as a trunk port. Since I'm using IOU to do this, you actually have to make it a switch port first. To slash you. So I'm going to make it a switch port, change the duplex to full, and change the mode to dynamic desirable. Switch 3, we're going to do the same thing on Ethernet 2.0. Now it's told us nothing, so let's take a look and see what, what VLANs are created now. Now we only have 200 on a production network, so that means all of our, all of our internal network that was using 100 to 109 no longer has connectivity. So it's 2 is going to say the same, it should say the same thing. 1 and 200. Back in the day we were called something like this a resume generated event. Switch 3, of course, is going to show no chains. We will look at the switch, the VTP status again. It's going to show config revision 21. Now, there's multiple ways to avoid this problem. One way is to don't change the domain name from your uh, product, your test switch before you connect it to the production network. And, or, or, 
change your VTP operating mode to a client because clients are not allowed to create VLANs. So when you connect it to the production network, it, it won't advertise what it has. And it won't overwrite what the production network is using. The main fix for this is to not run the VTB ver version 1 or 2. Because version 3 has a, a major fix for this. It's called a, a primary, primary VLAN where it goes out and asks the other switches, can I be the... Uh, the master VLAN updater before that it and this is something uh, it's, uh, it's a little bit more involved configuration wise okay that's it for this video